the holder of precision. In any country, find a mountain or canyon. Find a place where the foundation and stone is weak. Tear at it, rip it apart. If the foundation doesn't crumble in exactly 28.5 seconds, stop. You have failed and will not have another chance at this object. If you succeed, however, a nearly perfect doorway-shaped hole will appear. The hall, if you look down it, will be the darkest of blacks. Walk down this cavern. Walk through for one of two amounts of time, 13 minutes and 12 seconds, or exactly 30 minutes. Either way, it does not matter. Before you begin your journey down, make sure of a few things. Make sure your hair, if you have any, is perfectly kept, your clothes match, and that you have and can maintain perfect posture. If any of these things are not so, you have two choices. One is to walk down the hall and accept a painless death. Or, before you enter, rip out your hair to nothing, remove your clothes to be consistent, and straighten your back. If you do this in front of the door, you will be able to walk to him, as your exterior will be consistent. While you walk down this hall, change nothing about your appearance, and do not cry from the previous pain. You may think whatever you will. This holder has no interest in your mind, at least not yet. Walk straight forward for the amount of time I specified. It should be obvious that consistency, accuracy, and above all else, precision, are important to this holder. Do not rest at any point in your walk, as this wouldn't be consistent. Keep your eyes forward and your stride consistent. There is a large part of your journey coming up. Exactly halfway through your journey, if you notice yourself step down one stair, fall down in tears, as your death, but more importantly, your torture, are inevitable, may hell pity your soul. If you see light in lieu of the step, you have a chance to escape, if you can run for 4.32 seconds at a perfectly consistent speed, you will have three chances to do this. If you succeed on any, you will find yourself on the other side of the mountain. Unscathed for now, but unable to obtain this object forever. In addition to this, your days will forever be numbered to exactly twenty years, and these will not be good years. Not horrific, but never again good. If you manage to keep perfect precision, after one of the two preset amounts of time, you will see a bookcase exactly 9.75 inches in front of you. Don't move for exactly 10 seconds. Now, reach out your arm only with your shoulder joint until your arm is exactly 90 degrees. Failure to do this will trap you here in this darkness until your death. Grab the book in exactly three seconds. If done correctly, this will cause the bookcase to melt away. Your precision can drop exactly one notch. Keep your eyes open and look around the room. Then close them. Do not open them for approximately eleven seconds. In these eleven seconds, you will have a mental image. You will see a silhouetted man sitting in front of a stone circle. This man is fairly short and of average width. He is the holder of precision. He will be seated in a pitch black room that, even with its non-existent visibility, you can tell is perfectly round on even the most atomic of scales. This room is not one quark unequal in its shape. Finally, you will see the pile of logs beside him, though you cannot tell how many. Open your eyes and walk up to this man. Look directly at the log pile. If there are less than seven, your skin and flesh will bake into your bones. Your nerves will rot away, yet feel 
like they are burning for millennia. You will become a log to his fire, one of the seekers who has failed at this point. Like them, you will be destined for the fire. If, however, there are exactly seven, count yourself lucky. The holder should hand you a pine cone. Take it. You must now scurry around this room to find a flare, a small vial of an odd oil, and paper. You will have precisely eighteen seconds to do this. If you somehow manage to find them, you have been incredibly fortunate. If not, while you search, he will silently run and stab you in the back, killing you in precisely 2.23 seconds, and the bleeding stopping in 3.02 seconds. He will use this blood as his oil. Now, create a fire using these materials and the seven logs in the perfect center of the stone circle. Stare into his gray eye, as he has only one. You have little time, though the precise amount is lost. Back him into the corner and strangle him to death. Feel no remorse, as this man is beyond evil. Once he has fallen, shove your arm roughly into his eye. This will prevent him from having the precise 2.3 seconds it would take him to manage to take you down with him. Grab the first thing you feel, which will always be the orb. If it is cold, then you were never meant to wield it. You will wait in your room. There is no physical consequence if this happens, though you will feel the need to tell someone, anyone, about the objects. If you allow that to happen, they will rip you apart. If the orb is slightly warm, take it, just as the holder's blood begins to boil in his flesh. The orb takes the form of a large, spherical, fire opal with a near invisible line protruding from it. This line has no power against the holders or he who tries to bring them in, but it will be able to help you fend off their allies. There is no blade, merely a point. Should you slash at anything, the length of the line will disappear until its length, precisely eighteen inches, comes out of contact with your foe. Should the small point stab them, it will pierce them without fail. This stone is object 1144 out of 2538. It will allow you to see the precision of nature, of the objects, and of yourself. Can you match this precision?